I think the reason most people get into this business is they just want a better life. Hi, I'd just like to welcome uh, one of our very, very successful quit specialists, Wayne Moffat, all the way from Albury here on the call. How are you, Wayne? I'm good, thanks, Craig. How are you doing? Excellent, mate. Thanks for coming and, uh, and sharing your, your story with the, the guys here on the call. Um, so you've been a quit specialist for quite some time now. Yeah, 2009 I've done my training. Okay, so we're 2014 now, so five, nearly five years. Yeah, about four and a half, so that's it. Okay, great. And um, and what were you doing prior to that? Uh, I had a handyman business, doing building maintenance. Okay, and um, and I believe even before that you were a truck driver. I was a truck driver before that, yes, I was uh, smoking about 60 cigarettes a day. Okay, that's a good lifestyle. <laughs> And, um, and and what made you get into um, becoming a quit specialist? What what attracted you to the business? Uh, I got an email out of nowhere. Don't even know how you guys got me, but I looked at it strictly from a business point of view, through the numbers, and it just made absolute common sense compared to traditional business. Uh, and being an ex-smoker, it was also a way to pay it forward as well. Okay, when you say it made uh, it made sense. Uh, compared to a traditional business, just tell me what you mean, mean by that. Mate, I can't remember the time, but I think it was whatever the startup cost was. It was ridiculously cheap because I just bought it as a franchise. Um, having staff, vans, insurance, tools, the whole lot. At the end of the day, there was like little left for me. That was in your traditional business. Traditional business. Yeah. Uh, quick, I think it started out with uh, 450 a client, which is 450 an hour. Uh, and I had a coach a couple of years earlier that he said, you know, to work out if you want a million dollars a year, it had to be $400 an hour. So it just made uh, absolute sense. And at the end of the day, all that 450 was mine. I didn't have to pay staff, didn't have to pay work cover, didn't have to run tools. It was mine in my pocket. Excellent. And, um, and what other reasons did you um, decide to start this business besides the money? Just being an ex maker too, I sent the program to, uh, to help people get off the damn things. You know, I used to wake up every morning coughing my lung up in the shower and it was just, uh, it's not a good feeling and to be around and see my kids grow up, uh, it was just an opportunity that I could pay for to, uh, to other people and, and I have done that to about 400 odd. You've seen 400 people? Yeah, four hundred and three, four hundred and five, something like that. Yeah. Okay, and um, we'll talk about this in a minute, but I believe that you're uh, you've got a a bit of a spurt on next this coming weekend. We're seeing sixteen people. We might uh, in, in one weekend. We might just talk about that in a little while. I'm sure yep. the uh, I'm sure the listeners will be interested to know how you um, how you're about to make eight thousand dollars in two days. Yeah, or two and a half. Two and a half days, eight thousand dollars. That's pretty good going. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so, how do you find the niche of the smoker? As far as um, you know, we say that that if you want to be successful in a business, you become a specialist, and you have a niche that's uh, an inch wide and a mile deep, which meaning that it's a very specific field you work with. But there's millions and millions of customers. How do you find that? Ah, uh, easy. There's still a heap of smokers out there. Um, and then the government does us a lot of favours by putting up the price of the cigarettes every few months. Uh, councils are now banning smoking in more public areas than ever before. Uh, and people are just out there. Before they wanted to quit to get off the smokes, now they're coming just to quit because it's just so antisocial. They want to be a part of what's going on and they can't be if they're a smoker. Right, hasn't, hasn't times changed? It has indeed. You know, once upon a time, everyone smoked walking down the main street. Now I think you've got to find one or two people. Yeah, well, they're all out in the street, aren't they? Because that's where they go, so... Um, well, they're, yeah, they're hiding because they don't want anyone to see them. Right, fair enough. Now, um, they say that uh, systems uh, ensure success, and as we both know, um, Quit is a systemised business. What do you think the most important factors are contributing to your success with the business? 
I think, and that was another reason why I got the business too. It was a business in a box, so like everything was covered from training to marketing uh, to the aftercare. All I had to do was open the box, follow the system, not change it, just do what you guys said to do, and uh, it works. So yeah. it's, as simple, it's really as simple as that. Yeah, look, we've got we've got hundreds of specialists that you know the ones that do follow the system are successful. It's interesting that that uh, if you've given a if you're given a proven system, why change it? And uh, you know some people think that they they know better and they and they do want to change it. I I sort of I just don't get that. No, well, you know I, I just go back to a cake. I don't need to make a cake from scratch with all the ingredients. I just want the packet mix. Just add water and off I go. Yeah, and that's what this is. Yeah, add water and off you go. That's a good analogy. Now, um, if you could do it all over again, um, would you do anything differently? Uh, no, I don't think I would. Um, just for the pure, simple fact that I still did have a traditional business. Um, I worked this around that. This was basically, I did it um, one, one day a week for basically play money. Okay. Um, so, if I was going to change anything, yeah, I'd probably go back and get rid of my traditional business and just start this full on. Okay. Which I probably should have done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you dipped your toes in the water and just did it part time till you build it up till now it's your, pretty much your full time income. Yeah, people look at full time as 40 hours a week. Yeah, I've, I've Full time in this is probably for me about eight. With a, with more than a full time income. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, now, you know, business is business. Sometimes it's difficult. We're not here to tell people this this business is just going to be a walk in the park because it's not. Um, at times, did you want to give up, or you know, did it get too hard? Tell us a little bit about the reality of being a quit specialist and running this business? Uh, I, I think because we've been in business so long and I looked at it from a business point of view, just getting in, um, following the system, doing the marketing, it was pretty pretty simple. Uh, the, maybe the biggest fear I had was um, seeing the first client, actually, can I do this? Okay. And, yeah, I probably mucked up. I don't know. They didn't know, so it didn't really matter. Yeah, and and what's your uh, what's your success rate? I think in the four hundred and odd people, I've had about twenty come back, so it's pretty close to the ninety five percent stats that we say. Yeah, there you go. That's what we say. So isn't that interesting? When you follow the system, the system just works. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist as well, which I've done since. Okay. Um, just as a an offside because I really love the uh, the hypnotherapy side of it now in NLP. Yeah. But you know, in the old traditional system, you see the smoke it for three times, maybe t up to ten times, and it's the income from this far outweighs that. Yeah. So you're saying that the the hypnotherapy um, you, you've done a diploma in hypnotherapy, is that correct as well? Yeah, just the more advanced one. So the yeah. traditional model is, you know, it's five hundred dollars to see a person for three times. Yes. So three hours compared to where this one is, it's an hour. The same money, a bit more. Right, and the success rates obviously a lot more as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, which means you can see three people in the same time as you see one traditionally. Yep. And get a better result for those yep. for those three people. Yep. Excellent. If you're wondering if the Quit Cigarettes in 60 Minutes business is right for you, why don't you just click on the red button below that says I'd like to book my free no obligation consultation. Fill out your details on the next page and we'll be in touch with you shortly and organise a time that's convenient for both of us and we'll have a chat and just see if this business is right for you and uh, change your life forever. Uh, so go ahead, click on that red button right now and uh, we'll talk to you very soon. Have a great day.